Welcome. It has been a while. Today, I want to give a brief update for those of you that I know personally and don't get to see anymore after closing my private practice in June of 2022. Hopefully, this will explain why I haven't continued our video post over the past year. I hope to get back to a regular schedule in the coming weeks. Just to hit the high points, within the last year, our youngest son, Jake, went through an extensive medical evaluation and ultimately had a surgical procedure to help control what had become a severe seizure disorder, averaging anywhere from five to 30 seizures a day. Thankfully, God has blessed us greatly and Jake has now been almost six months with no seizures. Jake's doing excellent. He takes three pills in the morning and three in the evening, and except for some weakness in his left leg and a mild limp, he's back to being able to run and play. Obviously, I wish he didn't have the limp, but he does have my genes, so athletics was unlikely to ever be his way to make a living. During this time, we also sold our home in town we moved to the country. We started raising chickens and miniature goats. Uh, I closed my private primary care medical practice. We uh, just got word very recently that I've completed my board certification in obesity medicine, which I had pursued to help formalize my knowledge base and credentials for what has become my passion in medicine. I think I probably have the most bizarre pairing of medical specialty board certifications that any one doctor might end up with in the world of medicine, starting with boards in emergency medicine and ending with boards in obesity medicine. For those of you that know me personally, that may actually not be all that surprising. By way of an update on my current medical practice, I work in a small employer-owned clinic providing care for employees and families of a local manufacturing company and getting to practice medicine without the never-ending headache and fighting with the absurd requirements of the health insurance industry as it exists now in the US. I look forward to getting back to trying to educate our viewers on how to get away from the standard American diet and what they can do to improve their health and get away from some or possibly all of their medications. To end today, I would like to share a little bit of scripture for you to ponder. Proverbs chapter one, verses one through six. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, judgment, and equity, to give prudence to the simple, to the young man knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear and increase learning, and a man of understanding will attain wise counsel. To understand a proverb and an enigma, the words of the wise and their riddles. Thank you, and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye now.